It's Thursday, November 10th, 2011, and this is the Nittany Minute. You probably don't need me to tell you this, but the past week, as far as Penn State is concerned, has been off the charts on the bizarre scale. And last night, we find out that Joe Paterno, just really hours after he announced he was going to retire at the end of the season, the Board of Trustees announces that he is going to be done effective immediately, meaning he will not be coaching against Nebraska, which would have been his final home game, according to his plan. And we've already seen the last of Paterno as far as Penn State football is concerned. It's been a remarkable turn of events, and we'll say this right now. Paterno's role in the Jerry Sandusky issue does cause alarm. There are, there are a number of things that he did wrong, a uh, number of things he did not do correctly or morally correctly. He probably could have done more. There's nothing that's arguing against that. Uh, whether he should have done more, that's I can obviously say yes, he probably should have done more. But here's the thing that people need to remember that is tending to get lost in national media and national reaction. 23 pages of grand jury presentment in the Jerry Sandusky uh, testimony. 23 pages. Paterno's mentioned on two of them. Maybe three. Seven sentences have Paterno's name in it. Seven sentences out of 23 pages. Not one time does it say that Paterno actively participated in a cover-up at Penn State, nor does it indicate that he was a part of it, nor does it say that he did any wrongdoing. Legally, yes, he probably did do something wrong by not calling. There's, I'm not going to argue that. But the Board of Trustees said that they had enough information to make this decision. So clearly, to me, they have more information than what is in here. And that's where I'm uh, smelling something rotten here. Because based on the information that's in the grand jury presentment, you probably can't come out and say that you have enough information. Oh, and by the way, during the press conference, they said that they did not have enough information on Paterno's role. And they, they said that they were not sure of his entire role in everything that went down as far as the Jerry Sandusky investigation is concerned. So obviously there are a lot of angry feelings right now. What's getting lost sometimes is the fact that there are a number of victims here that we will never know, nor should we ever know. And they're going to get lost in all this because the man named Joe Paterno became the national story in this. And that is what is a huge tragedy here. Uh, we saw some young children abused after coming to a foundation that was aimed to helping abused children thrive. And obviously it's a very emotional story. Obviously it's a very touching story because there are a number of villains here. There are a number of monsters here. And you can use any bad term you want to describe these men that are involved. According to this, though, Joe Paterno is not your big fish to fry. Jerry Sandusky, Tim Curley, Gary Schultz, Mike McQueary, then Joe Paterno. That's what I think. I'm sure you have an opinion on this as well. So feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below. But definitely look forward to hearing what you have to say. And there are a number of things to say about this. So please don't hold back, positive or negative. I know it's a very touchy subject. I know what I'm saying may not be the most popular of opinions, at least nationally. I get it. I understand it. I also stand by it. I'm Kevin McGuire. Thanks for watching this edition of the Nittany Minute. We will get back and maybe at some point we will be talking about some football. There is a big game to be played this weekend. We don't know exactly how this is all going to impact it, but football will go on. So that is what we will focus on in the coming days and really the rest of the season. We will try to get back to football only as far as this outlet is concerned. I appreciate you listening and responding. Make sure if you want to get updates on the latest Nittany Minute videos, you can follow on YouTube. You can actually follow on Twitter at Nittany Minute. And also be sure you follow me on Twitter as well at PSU Examiner as I will continue to be following this Jerry Sandusky scandal. Remember, it's a Jerry Sandusky scandal, a Penn State scandal. It's not just Joe Paterno. There are a number of other people that need to be pointed out here. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow. S -T -A -T.